Hey guys, welcome to my new series of HTML5 videos that I'm going to be doing. This is the first of the series. I'm going to be covering um, things from very basic stuff to more advanced stuff later. But for this video, as you can tell by the title, this is going to be um, the basic structure of an HTML file. So as you can tell, um, you can basically um, write HTML code using any kind of text editor. Right now I'm using my Mac computer. Uh, using the text edit application that comes on like every single Mac um, but basically I open that up and there's some preferences that you should really set if you're going to be doing a lot of HTML5 coding or just HTML coding in general or any kind of coding uh, using the text edit um, application on the Mac I'm not sure about Windows there's probably some options like this using notepad but anyways the option that you should always have if you're going to be doing any kind of coding uh, is usually you should use plain text now that is much easier and as you can tell right here uh, it's a lot easier to see the code while you're uh, coding it and editing your code it's just much easier if you pay attention to my future tutorials you'll know uh, what I'm talking about but besides that you should also um, enable the uh, let's see where is it on open and save you should always have this display HTML file as HTML code instead of formatted text um, especially using the Mac computer it just helps when opening the files on your computer uh, let's check anything else here everything else seems fine um, if you're basically starting a new website you can use the settings I have here they'll work perfectly fine so that's it for preferences really um, now let's go ahead and get to the basic structure of an HTML file. So as you can tell on web pages, the, if you right click and do view page source, you will always see the page source of an HTML thing. If you do it on this page that you're viewing it on, you're going to see a lot of code that's just usually auto generated by YouTube. But of course, somebody's already figured that all out. But for the basic structure, what you want to do is start with this line of code doc type HTML that specifies that the document uh, type is uh, HTML5 obviously and the doc type indicates that it's what the type of document that it is um, and then after that you want to always have HTML and that is an opening HTML tag now what an opening HTML tag means is that there's no slash in front of it. Uh, we'll get to that later. So let's go ahead and continue here. Now we're going to space down a little bit and usually you can do a tab here or you can you don't have to do a space at all or you can do a couple spaces. It really depends on how you prefer to code. But I do let's see one two three that works for me. Then always have this if you want to start it. So ahead and then one, two, three to line it up. You always want to make it lined up because that makes very clean code. It's very easy to edit it and uh, basically troubleshoot any problems you have with your code. Now this is where the slash comes in. You have slash before the, the actual phrase here. So, so we have the starting head right here and we have the ending head right here. Now what head is, is the head section contains information about the document. Uh, and basically what this slash does right here is this ends it. So anything you have in between, this is where you start and this is where you stop. So it's very easy to see that this is exactly where it will stop reading the information as it goes down the page uh, as your web browser is figuring out all this code. And another thing to know is that your web browser will ignore all the white space so say you have a really long link if you have it like this and you go down here and you continue it like right below it the browser will not read any of this white space it'll skip all of that out so it's really easy to line up all of your code and make it look really good so now continuing down here of the basic structure of an html file we're going to go ahead and space down and then one two three body one two three and and the body basically what the body is is um, it's the section that contains 
the content that is going to be displayed by the web browser. So you have the HTML file here is where it starts, the head, and the head, and where the body of all it, think of it as like you're writing an essay for college or something. You have your header, the introduction, and the body. And then we're going to continue down here. Double space it. And now we're going to end this HTML file. So that is the basic structure of an HTML file. As you can tell here, this is the closing HTML tag because it does have that slash right in front of the HTML uh, words right here. So guys, that is basically uh, the basic structure of an HTML file. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to stay tuned for my next tutorials where I'll be talking about some uh, more advanced stuff and how to actually start to get coding with your file here. If you want to follow along, you can go ahead and do that. I'll start off right where I left off with this video. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.